In this video, I show you how to evolve Ghastly into Haunter and how to evolve Haunter into Gengar in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In order for Ghastly to evolve into Haunter, it needs to reach level 25 or above. And so if you catch a Ghastly that is already level 25 and above, you just need to level it up one more time. You can do this either by battling wild Pokemon or giving it some candies, uh, some experience candies that is. And so I'm gonna give it four of this candy here to give it 400 experience, and then it should evolve into Haunter. All right, and Ghastly evolved into Haunter. Now, to set this video up, I'll have to give it an Everstone, trade it to a friend of mine, and then he'll take off the Everstone and trade it back. And the requirement, as you can see here, for Haunter to evolve into Gengar is for it to be traded. Uh, and the Everstone will prevent evolution, and then we'll see the evolution on the way back. So here's the Everstone. I'm now gonna give this to Haunter as a held item so that we can see the evolution later on. In order to trade with your friend or someone else, you have to connect to the internet if they're not in the same room as you. And so you have to have a Nintendo Switch Online membership for that to work. And so you can open the Poke Portal from the menu. You get this very early on in the game, and then you need to press L to connect to the internet. Now, you can either do this while inside the Union Circle or not, but if you're in a Union Circle, you have to trade only with the people you are there with. Otherwise, you would have to just exit the Union Circle and then go down to Link Trade. And when you're connected to the internet, it will be given a eight digit code here to give to a friend that you can make of your own. And so I'm gonna make the community code here and send over to my friend. There we go. So I've sent the code to my friend and now I am beginning to search. If you do not have a trade partner, this could be a good time to just promote the North Heart Discord server, which is for YouTube members of this channel. The North Heart Discord community is of passionate Pokemon fans who have a strict stance against cheating. And you can read more about it by clicking the link in the video description. Now, Dr. Fail didn't type in the code in time, and so I'll just have to see if I can get in contact with him again. All right, a trade partner has been found. And so to be very clear, I've now given the Haunter an Everstone, so it will not evolve. And then Dr. Fail will take the Everstone off. We can see the Everstone right here. It should not hold it normally, and we'll see that when it gets returned. All right, so the Haunter is now being traded to Dr. Fail, but because it holds an Everstone, it will not evolve. And then Dr. Fail will take the Everstone off so that we can see the evolution. And another thing to notice here is if you trade a trade evolution to another person, you cannot prevent the evolution by holding B as with any other evolution. And so, or level up evolution that is. All right, so we are setting up the second trade here. Uh, normally you can just trade back and forth. You don't have to go out and uh, into the trade again, but because of the Everstone, we had to do it this way. All right, so just to double check, we can check the other Pokemon's summary, which let's see here, should not hold an Everstone. I actually don't know where it's located, but we'll see. And so we are now being traded a Haunter, and since it does not have an Everstone and it is being traded, it should evolve once it arrives to us. Dr. Fail sent over the Haunter, and now it should evolve. And so the Haunter evolved into Gengar. The last thing I can add in this video is that when you trade Pokemon, it can give you a problem when it comes to obedience. So be aware of that. You may have to get some more gym badges after you trade or before. Uh, but aside from that, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.